I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. The God who gave us life gave us liberty at the same time. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. I cannot live without books. He who knows best knows how little he knows. Question with boldness even the existence of a God, because, if there be one, he must more approve of the homage of reason, than that of blindfolded fear. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. The spirit of resistance to government is so valuable on certain occasions that I wish it to be always kept alive. In matters of style, swim with the current, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. Every citizen should be a soldier. This was the case with the Greeks and Romans, and must be that of every free state. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. The most valuable of all talents is that of never using two words when one will do. I predict future happiness for Americans if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. A little rebellion now and then is a good thing. I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences attending too much liberty than to those attending too small a degree of it. The democracy will cease to exist when you take away from those who are willing to work and give to those who would not. The issue today is the same as it has been throughout all history, whether man shall be allowed to govern himself or be ruled by a small elite. It is neither wealth nor splendor, but tranquility and occupation which give happiness. I have no fear that the result of our experiment will be that men may be trusted to govern themselves without a master. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal, nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. Enable them to see that it is their interest to preserve peace and order, and they will preserve them. Our liberty depends on the freedom of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. If a nation expects to be ignorant and free, in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. Whenever the people are well informed, they can be trusted with their own government. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Do not bite at the bait of pleasure, till you know there is no hook beneath it. Never spend your money before you have earned it. The glow of one warm thought is to me worth more than money. The care of human life and happiness, and not their destruction, is the first and only object of good government. I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences attending too much liberty than those attending too small a degree of it. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The greatest danger to American freedom is a government that ignores the Constitution. The two enemies of the people are criminals and government, so let us tie the second down with the chains of the Constitution so the second will not become the legalized version of the first. If there is one principle more deeply rooted in the mind of every American, it is that we should have nothing to do with conquest. Delay is preferable to error. Agriculture is our wisest pursuit, because it will in the end contribute most to real wealth, good morals, and happiness. An association of men who will not quarrel with one another is a thing which has never yet existed, from the greatest confederacy of nations down to a town meeting or a vestry. I have learned to be less confident in the conclusions of human reason, and give more credit to the honesty of contrary opinions. There is not a sprig of grass that shoots uninteresting to me. The only security of all is in a free press. 
The force of public opinion cannot be resisted when permitted to be freely expressed. The agitation it produces must be submitted to. It is necessary, to keep the waters pure. To penetrate and dissipate these clouds of darkness, the general mind must be strengthened by education. Never trouble another for what you can do for yourself. I cannot live without books. The moment a person forms a theory, his imagination sees in every object only the traits which favor that theory. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. When angry, count ten before you speak, if very angry, a hundred. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. The boisterous sea of liberty is never without a wave. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. The God who gave us life, gave us liberty at the same time. The most valuable of all talents is that of never using two words when one will do. I predict future happiness for Americans, if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. The strongest reason for the people to retain the right to keep and bear arms is, as a last resort, to protect themselves against tyranny in government. No man has a natural right to commit aggression on the equal rights of another, and this is all from which the laws ought to restrain him. I have sworn upon the altar of God, eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The good opinion of mankind, like the lever of Archimedes, with the given fulcrum, moves the world. Walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. In matters of style, swim with the current, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. It is neither wealth nor splendor, but tranquility and occupation, which give happiness. We confide in our strength, without boasting of it, we respect that of others, without fearing it. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. Ignorance is preferable to error, and he is less remote from the truth who believes nothing than he who believes what is wrong. I am not an advocate for frequent changes in laws and constitutions, but laws and institutions must go hand in hand with the progress of the human mind. It is in our lives and not our words that our religion must be read. The spirit of resistance to government is so valuable on certain occasions that I wish it to be always kept alive. The legitimate powers of government extend to such acts only as are injurious to others. But it does me no injury for my neighbor to say there are twenty gods, or no god. It neither picks my pocket nor breaks my leg. The glow of one warm thought is to me worth more than money. The happiness of society is the end of government. In every country in every age, the priest has been hostile to liberty. Question with boldness even the existence of a god, because, if there be one, he must more approve of the homage of reason, than that of blindfolded fear. The care of human life and happiness, and not their destruction, is the first and only legitimate object of good government. I'm a greater believer in luck, and I find the harder I work the more I have of it.